Good morning, my friends. So we got a dump and go crock pot meal. This is gonna be the easiest dump and go crock pot meal. It's the best. And it just so happens to be St. Patrick's Day today. So we are gonna be doing a corned beef brisket. Actually, we're gonna be doing two corned beef briskets. We have two right here. And we are making them in the crock pot. That's the only way I've ever made them. And they came out really good. There are, if you look on the internet, there are varieties a variety of ways to make your um there's a variety of ways to make your corned beef in the crock pot people have like guinness and do all this stuff i don't do any of that um not a guinness drinker anyways and this is the way i've done it and it always came out good so we have in between these you're probably thinking it's a lot but corned beef shrinks a lot so um and this is going to be not only for a family of five but also um, for my dad and my mom. So we are having, this is about four and a half pounds, four, five, six, it's about seven pounds-ish of corned beef, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these out of the bag and we're gonna rinse them, pat them dry, and we're gonna plop them in to our crock pot that we're gonna have right here. It's rather early, it's about 6.30 in the morning and crock pot are in, these briskets really need to cook for quite some time i would say eight hours minimum okay so if you're getting ready to like go to work or if you're the kids haven't gotten up yet and you're like i want to just make something really quick perfect all right so we are going to do some veggies we have a head of cabbage that we're going to use and we have a couple of the red potatoes we are not going to toss those in just yet okay so i would say it's 6 30 right now we're going to put those on i would say probably around 10 o'clock i'm going to add the potatoes and everything like that so um we can uh, you know they'll start they'll be nice and soft and i like to cook them in with the meat because it will the meat will like the flavoring and like the fat and stuff will kind of give off on um, the veggies this is going to be a tight pick so i think i might even have to do two crock pots honestly i'm thinking so i picked i don't know we'll see we'll see if we can make it fit we can always dice up the potatoes pretty small and the cabbage shrinks so i think we might actually be okay so anyways let's rinse these bad boys off you see they have these little flavor seasoning packets keep those you're going to need them. okay so back to it these were rinsed and i dried them off and i tossed it in here i was telling leo i'm like i don't know i feel like i might have to do two crock pots but i think we'll be okay because like i said these will shrink a lot and i still have um all this to line with the veggies and then the cabbage will shrink a lot too so i think we'll be okay if it's a little crowded it's a little crowded i'm not too worried so we have the corned beef in here the brisket and we got the little one and then we have the big one these are flat cuts of the brisket the point cut has like a big chunk of it and it's just i don't feel like the best cut of it i don't know the whole science but here are the actual like corning this is where you get like the corned beef is where you when you corn it with all like the peppercorns and stuff you're going to add this to it my mom never added the seasoning to it okay she would be like oh it's too salty it's this it's that um I just add, I'm just adding one, I'm not adding both, because I like the way it tastes, so. Um, okay, so that is on. Just, I'm actually gonna probably put this on my countertop and add a, um, a little cutting board, because I'm gonna have to cook throughout the day, so I can't leave this on the stove. But we are gonna put this on, I set mine on high. No, we're gonna set ours on medium, and we are going to hold on this is the kasori one i love this crock pot this one's like one of my favorites i'm going to put it on medium but i'm going to adjust the the time to about eight hours and that's it you can do low <coughs> low for if you just have like low or high just set it on low for eight um but i definitely would not recommend trying to like do this in four hours like this is something that's going to have to go low, um, low and slow because it will be so so tough so definitely give it the full eight hours that it needs because you won't enjoy it it's going to be too tough and too hard to eat so that's it dumped in we dumped and came and went and dinner's on all right my friends we are going to make a french toast casserole but we're going we're going to make it a little uh, easy okay and we're going to cheat a little bit because we're going to use already made bread usually you would make your own bread with like fathead dough and all that stuff 
we're not doing that. We're gonna use the um, keto friendly bread that we get from Costco and we're gonna have that and we're just gonna cut it up. I have it on. We're gonna place it in a casserole dish, which I, I'm gonna spray down a little bit of nonstick spray. I have my hub, my oven heat preheating at 420. We're gonna use some heavy whipping cream. We could have used um, almond milk as well, but we just opted for heavy whipping cream today. Um, I'm gonna add some eggs, a little bit of vanilla extract type deal, some cinnamon, all the things. So um, right now I have, I think, eight pieces of bread. I'm gonna cut them up and kind of see how they fit. I have a couple more pieces left, so um, yeah. All right, so here is the cast, like the bread all cut up. Like I said, eight pieces. I cut them in these pretty big squares, and we're going to go from there. Um, we're going to have to figure out how we're going to portion this. I guess we'll cut it into fourths again. I know people said like to weigh it out and all that stuff, but I'm just going to cut it into, um, we're going to make this four servings, one, two, three, four, and just leave it at that because sometimes it can get a little crazy. So, um, yeah, we're going to definitely do this in four servings, but let's go ahead and get our egg mixture together. You're going to want a bowl. We're going to do about six eggs and about, about a fourth of a cup of heavy cream and about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So here is that mixture. Again, it's a fourth of a cup of heavy cream, six eggs, and um, about a tablespoon of vanilla extract. And I'm just whipping it up, making sure it's well incorporated. And we're just going to pour this mixture over our cut up bread. Make sure every bit is getting covered. If you have to, you just kind of smush it down too, okay? So just make sure everything, I kind of just do one of these too. Just again, making sure every bit, be kind of gentle with it though, because you don't want to like break down your bread, okay? Because it is going to get um, pretty wet. Oven is preheated again at 420 degrees. It's letting us know it is ready. Okay, looking good, looking good. And you can see it's already shrinking down. So again, this is going to cook for about 20-ish minutes, you know, until it's done and crispy and all that stuff. Um, my oven runs a little bit off, so. All right. That's that. Looking good. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of cinnamon and we're going to just sprinkle it across. All right, so this is what it's looking like. You could add a little bit of powdered sugar, and I just looked in my cabinet. I thought I had some, but I am out, but it's all good. Um, no worries. So yeah, here is our little mixture. We are going to, you could actually add a couple dollops of butter if you wanted to as well, but um, just to make it a little bit crispy, I'm not gonna do that, but you could also do that if you wanted. But yeah, into the oven, and breakfast is about to be on. Ooh, look at that. And that is one whole portion right there. Okay, so um, I already started adding. I have my sausage, look at the nice and crispy, and I am adding the best, the Truck Zero Maple Syrup. They have the best syrups. They have a caramel syrup, which is really good. Oh, they have a fudge one, like a chocolate one. Oh, so good. Um, they have a mango syrup that is great. Oh, God. I mean, everything from Chalk Zero is so good, but I absolutely love, 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 love their maple syrup. It's really good, very rich. It's not watery. It's nice and thick. It's perfect. So if you guys want to try this out, I'll leave a link down below or my discount code down below. Everything from Chalk Zero, you can't go wrong. Just buy it. It's delicious. Oh, I should probably show you the food, but yeah, we're going to just add in a little bit of the syrup here. I like to put a little bit on my stuff and voila we got ourselves a nice little casserole little french toast casserole and it was real easy like i said because we used that bread you don't have to use the one from costco you can use whatever bread you want and if you guys want to add a little bit of swerve powder sweetener that would be even better all right my friends i want to show you guys a couple new items i picked up so I'm gonna try these on to show you, but this is just like a long t-shirt dress. 
and it has like a little like peekaboo like shoulder on it like the cold shoulder thought that was really cute just for like warmer weather with some like gym shoes and like maybe like a little thing tied around your waist and then I also picked this up I love this I thought they gave me like very much like vintagey vibes so I did order these online and I will leave a link down below so um, ordering these online definitely follow sizing guides okay these um, are coming from overseas so the sizing are a little off and don't just think because like maybe you were a large um, in you know like regular clothes that it's gonna be a large here so a lot of these things I had to size up like this is an extra large and this is like a vintagey vintagey Coors shirt I thought that'd be really cute so with some jeans um, I again I just sized up with this this is a 2XL I'll try it on to show you but I thought these were so cute I got this good vibes t-shirt and it's like cut off at the sleeve and then I also ordered myself a little baseball hat but we'll look at the back so you can do like a ponytail so I thought that was really cute and then also I ordered myself this beautiful turquoise necklace they had so much like southwest influence type clothing they had a lot of turquoise and like serapes and stuff it was really really pretty but I thought something along the lines of like this necklace with like this Coors t-shirt I don't know I thought that was kind of cool I don't know I thought I could piece it together anyways let me try these on so I can show you all right so here is that shirt isn't that cute um I'm thinking of like probably like cropping it up like just tying it up and I love like the whole like vintage logo on it. I thought it was really, really cute. I do want to mention that everything I bought, nothing was mo no more than like $18. And I believe you get free shipping with over an order over 120, but they ship like everywhere. So um, I know a lot of places, you know, have limited shipping and don't ship to certain parts of the country, like different countries. These places ship everywhere. Everything is online. You could check it out. They have themes for like holidays. They have swimwear. They have home decor. There is something there for everyone. Definitely watch the sizing though, okay? Just don't assume that if you wear a large that you're going to fit a large there because I believe their large is for like a size 8. Sorry about the construction, guys, but it is what it is. Um, but yeah, let me show you. This. So this is that one. I love this. This one was my favorite. I love the color. I think it's so cute. All right, here is that other t-shirt. This one is kind of long. Again, I bought it, I think, at an extra large. And then here is that necklace. Isn't she so pretty? It does have some weight on it, so you know it's not, like, cheap. But I just think it's so pretty. And it'll really, I mean, you can wear this anywhere. And I think it's gorgeous. And I'm telling you, they had so much, if you like this, like I said, turquoise southwest kind of style they have something there for everyone i believe they even have a plus size section everything was so cheap again like i always say just follow the sizing but everything was super affordable and i don't know i just thought it was kind of fun just to have like this is just a tank top type um shirt so i figure i can wear it like working out or i could just wear it as you know with a jacket over it and just add it is kind of long but it fits well and yeah so that's that it's really cute okay so here is that dress i did this dress is way too big um but i'm thinking i could just put like a little like maybe a flannel or something wrap it around to cinch it in and bring it in i do love the cold shoulder aspect of it and i thought it was something nice just to kind of wear around just to throw on if i'm going to go out with the kids and just wanted something light and cool and just i like dresses because they're easy to throw together i will say i'm quite impressed with the quality if you guys have been here for a while i've done a lot of different hauls on like online shopping especially stuff from overseas and i've had a lot of issues a lot of bad sizing bad quality and so far everything i like is everything i've gotten has been very very nice Nothing is fraying, nothing has like loose threading, everything is sized well and correct, which that's always been an issue. So I definitely would recommend this one for sure. Just definitely I would probably have gotten, I probably would have gotten a large to be honest. And lastly, I got this baseball hat and it has the rubber in the back. So this is what it looks like. On, I like it. It is kind of pulling up, but I do have... Um, 
extensions in the back of my hair so I'm wondering if that's what the issue is but <clears throat> it has these spaces in there for your ponytail so I'm thinking that's why the ponytail is supposed to hold it down so let me try to put my hair up in a ponytail and let me see if it works all right so I think that did the trick and you just go ahead and you put your ponytail in between the um, spaces here I'm gonna be honest with you guys though I've always I don't know I feel like my head is too big I'm gonna be honest with you I've always I don't know I think I got it I've always struggled with finding baseball hats that fit ten I usually honestly I tend to wear men's hats because my head is so big it is what it is I can't wear women's hats it just doesn't work for me but I think this did it yeah it's fitting now so yeah so cute right and I feel like kind of keep my hair up off my neck and I could still be stylish because I feel like it never looks it has never looked cute on me with like a ponytail because like I feel like I'm like pushed in but I definitely like this one and I like the cheetah print they even had um <clears throat> like a serape design on it which I thought was really really cute with like the whole southwestern deal I thought that was super cute so yeah if you guys wanted to check out any of the things I bought I'm gonna leave a link for everything like I said everything was like less than 18 bucks Shipping was really quickly. Everything is super nice quality. It fits really well. I Like I said, I would have definitely sized down in the dress, but it, things like that happen. Um, but it's definitely not like my dirty, my dirty closet. Um, it's definitely not uh, like super cheapy um, material um, where you're like, washing once and it'll be done i i definitely like them and i enjoy everything i'll keep you updated but for the price i think everything is really great so again i'll leave everything linked down below check them out i promise you'll find some really cute stuff i'm telling you they had that whole like southwest influence was so pretty and they had um oh i have one more shirt i forgot hold on let me show you oh i have this shirt too isn't she so cute um i totally forgot all about her um, so it has the lipstick design on it. So let me go ahead and put her on. I'll be right back so I can show you her on. All right, sorry about that. I forgot I had this shirt and I was like, man, because I've been waiting to wear it. Um, this is, and it has like the leopard print lips and then it's like gold on the bottom and she's dripping. I think it's really, really cute. It's just a plain black t-shirt. Again, you can tie it, you can cinch it. This one's nice because it's not like cheap material. It's like lined on the inside. It's nice and light and cool, but it's not cheapy. I don't know. I, you know, I'm always really uh, like suspect on like a lot of these companies, but I think this one is, I'm, I'm very pleasantly surprised. And this one is so cute. So again, I'll leave everything linked down below, give you a little discount, all the things, but definitely recommend. And I'll leave the link down below of the stuff I bought. And then if you want to check out the site themselves. So there you go, my friends. Always looking out for my people. Quick update. So we have about four and a half hours left on the corned beef okay so i added our potatoes i just diced them up and tossed them you know by the in the pan just where the fluid is you know so they could kind of soak in there and then i'm just going to kind of push some more down do one of these little thingies and then probably when it comes down to like the one and a half hour two hour mark we will add in the cabbage. But we are cooking along here, fellas. Ladies and fellas. Smells good. All right. All right. Let's keep this bad boy going. All right. So this is how I drops it in. I just have it sitting on top. Don't worry that it's not submerged because when we put the lid on, it's going to steam. We have quite a few hours and it will shrink. You will see too that there's a lot more water in here than there was when we started. That's completely normal as well. All right, guys, let me show you really quickly what we're going to have for lunch. It's very simple, very easy. I'm just having a big old plate of lettuce. I added about five pieces of this sliced oven roasted turkey breast. And then I had one more packet of the Chick-fil-A avocado lime ranch dressing. Yeah. And I'm going to top mine with a little bit of pepper and have some more water. And this is what's for lunch. Real easy. Trying to keep it real light. We had a pretty heavy um, breakfast and we're going to have a pretty decent sized dinner. So just making this real light. All right, guys. I'm gonna have <laughs> I'm gonna have another serving of this because um, I just uh, the lettuce just wasn't hitting it, and I'm still hungry. And I didn't even finish all the lettuce. I ate all the meat, <laughs> and I tried to get the most of the dressing, and I'm still like hungry. So I'm gonna have the rest of this. So you don't have to like put it away. And I really enjoyed it. So 
another serving of the French toast casserole. It's okay. It's okay to have breakfast for lunch. No shame here. All right, my friends. We are done. So here is the corned beef. I'm actually going to turn mine off. So it's, there we go. And everything looks so good. I just want to kind of give you a... I always kind of rotate mine too. So I'll push like the, uh, the cabbage to the bottom. Look at that. Just pure tenderness. So... I'm going to transfer one over, and then I'll transfer this other one, but look at that. This one is just falling apart. That's the whole trick with cooking any type of brisket is low and slow because, like I said, they are notoriously um, tough, and you want to cook them real slow, give them a lot of time to do their thing. And we were able to be super productive today. So we're going to lift her out. She's a thick girl. And we're going to put her right there. And then in here, we have our cabbage and our potatoes. So you see here some of the potatoes right here. What I'm going to do is get this ready. And I'll have, <clears throat> and we'll start cutting it up. All right, my friends, here is my beautiful St. Patty's Day dinner. This is about two cups of the cooked cabbage. I have about a half a tablespoon of Carrie's butter, and then I just kind of ran it through the cabbage, and I also ran it across <coughs> my meat right here. And this is about five ounces of the corned beef. And there she is. Look at how beautiful. I just kind of want to show you, like, everything is super, super well-cooked, um, not tough, not like mushy, because I hate, like, Leo doesn't like crock pot meals because he thinks they're mushy, and this one is not mushy at all. Everything is perfection. So there you go, my friends. This is what's for dinner. All right, my friends, let's look at the macro breakdown for today. So we had a total of 1653 calories, which is good because we want to stay around 1670. I did get my macro, um, like, breakdown from iHeart Macros. So if you guys were interested, that's who I went through. And then, uh, so for breakfast, it was 4, 455 calories. I did make a recipe with the French toast. Um, I, I don't know. I thought it was kind of nice just to have something baked. I definitely would have added a sweetener to the mixture or maybe a little bit more cinnamon or something like that to give it a little bit of a sweeter kick. But it was good. Um, the keto collagen, the fat-free half and half. I had two cups of coffee. Um, and the sausages that I had... I ended up having one more, so I had four, and then the salad with the um, turkey breast. So I have that um, avocado lime ranch, and then dinner was the cabbage, the butter, and then the corned beef, and then I also had another serving of the French toast casserole. Okay, so looking at our macro breakdown is, let's see, 110.7 grams of fat, 82.8 total carbs with 54.4 uh, fiber. This is looking like a real spectacular keto day, my friends. And protein was 106.9. That is looking real good. This is a very keto fied day, if I may say so myself. Even though we're practicing low carb, some days it's looking a little keto. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to log out. I am going to relax, and I took some allergy pills right now. How do I do this? This is the end of my day. I forget. Anyways, <clears throat> I took some allergy pills right now. My allergies are awful, so it's early. It's only 4.15, but <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and relax. I might fall asleep. Like I said, I took some allergy pills because my allergies are kicking my butt. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this full day of eating. I gave you guys some recipe ideas, some home-cooked casseroles, some jump-and-go crock-pot meals. And then also don't forget if you want to check out any of those clothing um, items I picked up, there's an option. Um, I hope Hopefully there's something here for some everyone. That's always my goal. But all right, I'm going to wrap this up. Happy St. Patrick's Day, but you guys won't see this on St. Patrick's Day. Um, as they say, may the wind always be at your back. So I will see you all at the next one. Take it easy, friends.